it does not matter if you have, you know, practice off in the morning or if we have practice at 10, I would get up at 8 o'clock just to keep my body on a good schedule, you know? At the beginning, I could only find the cold muesli, but Drew helped me out. It's called hopper flocking. You gotta find something called hopper flocking. This is what we call mushin. Mushin. Mush. Mushin, yeah. I like my area of Braunschweig, I gotta say. There's like a little park down the street. Downtown is right there. There's the NP down the street. There is the post office, which is nice. The bank is right there. Everything's close in Braunschweig anyways, but Favi, where we play our games, is maybe the farthest thing for me, and that's 15 minutes at the most. I don't think Braunschweig as a whole is very dangerous or anything. Like, I feel safe, so I, I actually really enjoy where I live. All right, this is my bedroom. Obviously my favorite room in the house. Got my bed, my dresser over here. My favorite hat, Gorn Bros hat. Yeah, I really, really, within the last probably three or four years, enjoyed finding uh, fashion more, more so than anything. In college, I was into it, but not, towards the end of my college career when I really started I guess paying attention to fashion and the way I dress and presented myself. I got my first custom made suit at Marquette for our media day. And that was really the first suit I had ever gotten. Now I look back at it and it does not fit me the way I wanted to at all. Like it is too big. I would have picked out way different things like on the suit, but I just had no idea what that world was about. Mm -hmm. So it's funny to see how like, that was, that was three years ago, how different my views and ideas are about fashion now compared to then. This is my, my spare bedroom, kind of my junk room, so to say. Got my shoes, another bed for, for any company I have. My dirty clothes are in here. All my bags, my travel stuff is in, in the big one. I don't have a desk. I'm trying to get a desk. It's taking a long time. So I have to do all my reading right here. I've stepped up my cooking game since I got here. I can, I've can i added a few dishes to my repertoire. Not a bad little view out of here. Sometimes I'll just crack the window and hang out, listen to music. Got the living room. My favorite part is the Apple TV. Usually this is full of walnuts. I only got two left in here though. I've been eating too many. I've been looking for Christmas candles. That's my biggest thing. Me and my, my college roommate, uh, Ruslan, we used to always have candles going in the house, so I'm looking. I haven't found any Christmas scents yet, but that's my thing on my radar. So this is the first time really living on my own. One time, I was only here for like maybe two, nah, probably like a month, a little over a month, and I locked myself out of my apartment. <laughs> and it was a little, it was already starting to get a little bit cold, so I like, I was, couldn't even get in the front door because I was locked out. So I had to ring, it was like maybe midnight or past midnight and I had to ring on my neighbor's doorbell and they were very, very, very kind. They let me in and they understood. And then from there I called a, a locksmith to let me in my apartment. It was <laughs> not a good night, but a lesson learned for sure. Right now I'm reading a daily devotional. It has a, a meaning relating to the scriptures from the Bible, so it's just like, you know, giving you something that you can focus on or something to start your day off in the right way. Whenever I see something that sticks out to me, I'll write it down and, and make note of it. One group is the big guys and one group is the guards, obviously. So today, guards go at 10-15. We have a 15 minute rule. If you're not there and ready to go on the court 15 minutes before practice starts, you have to buy the whole team pizza. Time to go. I am from Minnesota, but I am soft now. I went to school in Arizona. I lived in Las Vegas for three years before I come here, so I ain't know what, how to deal with cold weather, but I do not like cold weather. You can walk downtown in Braunschweig and see every different kind of people. And I like that about them. They are not aggressive drivers. If the light is yellow, they would just, okay, I will wait till next time. When America, maybe two cars will go through the, the same light, you know? Enjoy. Try to listen to the German radio and understand words that I can pick out. It's 
still getting used to the to the German rules. Like if you are to the right, you do not have to stop at all. We're actually cutting it close. 10.06, we gotta be ready by 10.15. But for me it would be a pizza with salami. <laughs> <laughs> you would put your order in too, huh? <laughs> we'll make it. See you in the gym. Okay. All right. <laughs> Other people's stories of how they got into basketball are very interesting. I don't really have a defining moment of, okay, this is when I was introduced to basketball. When I was younger, I mean, I always, everybody around me was playing basketball. My cousins played basketball and, and I just, I think I was almost born into it. Basketball wasn't the only sport I played when I was younger. I played soccer, I played baseball, and I played a little bit of tennis. But throughout the years, football, soccer, and basketball were my main sports. And then in seventh grade, you know, it becomes more and more competitive. So that is when I, I decided that basketball was going to be the sport that I dedicated most of my time towards. Specifically going to the gym on my own and actually doing drills and picking parts of my game that I wanted to improve. That's the age I remember most of when I kind of flipped the switch as to, okay, basketball is something that I wanted to do, basketball is something that I want to be really good at, so I have to dedicate the time to do that. You're busy, Captain. Nine. Yeah? Plus is us. Your package. You said it was here. Yes, at the customs. Nice! <laughs> you just ruined my day, Captain. That is bad. I'll put that on. It's funny to see the Germans' reactions. They assume I only speak English and then I throw a little German out there and they laugh at me. <sighs> sprechen, ich spreche in Deutsch. Nothing culturally is, is shocking to me. Like, wow, why do they do it this way, you know? Except soccer. <laughs> yeah, soccer is something I think Americans are embracing more and more. We played soccer and practice on Monday, I can't complain. Shoes, Sean Tong no. I own in an hour worth of receipts. Yes! So this is the way to the store. Another thing I don't like about Germany is like a lot of YouTubes won't play. What's oh, that? Strawberry? Chiba. Ah. Ah, vielen Dank. Trent is auf jeden Fall ein uh, sehr entspannter, lustiger, sympathischer Typ. Um, Ketagana. Pagatelli a Salmon. I really, really enjoy pasta and pancakes and chicken. I eat chicken. If I have a choice of meats, it's always chicken. If we go to a steakhouse, I order chicken. So me and Mo just got done eating at one of my favorite places in town. Um, we got about an hour and a half till practice starts. So we'll go home, rest up a little bit, and then head back to, to Tunica, our practice facility for practice tonight. Which is something I was prepared for. Everybody told me, you know, you go overseas practice two times a day and I'm like oh man that sounds horrible you know but at the end of the day that's our job everybody knows you're modeling a lot <laughs> yeah what do you think is your most important part you know if I have a day off <laughs> I'm, not saying it. I'm best known for the tiger pose <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Obviously my final goal is to, to have a career in the NBA, but that is a goal. And right now, this is part of the process to get to that goal. So now I'm not thinking about going to the NBA right now. Right now I'm thinking about doing the best I can in Braunschweig, having a great time in Braunschweig and, and, and helping us the, the best I can so that we can be the best team we are. It'll be probably 7.45 by the time I get home. I'll go make some dinner. My nights are my most calm time. At least go on the internet and learn something new, whether it's about investing or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Super. 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 I've had a good day with my man Flo.